These are CNC milled from 8 inch thick billet aluminum. You've got the metric and the inches, and you got the different reference holes for PC modding and building. So um, when we make them, it's not very often, but um, they're worth it when you get them. When it comes in, it's 12 foot bar stock, 8 inch thick, 6061 aluminum. Very first step, once they're mounted in the fixture, well you have to call up the correct program. What's her name? <laughs> 503 Ruler D, Revision D. And we start it. Ah yes, the very first incision made in the billet is the 22 millimeter diameter hole, which is used as a template for vandal resistant switches like the ones by Bulgin and Lamtron, so commonly used on custom PC builds. Then it's on to cutting the notches for the thickness blade on the right side of the ruler, which has a gauge for eighth inch, three sixteenths, quarter inch, and half inch, which happen to be the most popular sizes for scratch building PC cases. I'm recording this because I'm getting an education too. Well, let's educate. <laughs> First stage completed, and that was making the 22 millimeter hole in each one of the three ruler blanks and the thickness gauge notches remove these hold down screws and put in plugs, hold down plugs in all three holes. The next stage is beveling both sides of the ruler before we can make the scribed increments for all the measurements on the sides which is metric on one and inches on the other and with the metric side there is designated marks for the different size of PC cooling fans on the market starting at 40 millimeter on up to 250 millimeter diameter. Then after the beveling is done, we drill and tap all the screw holes for the size referencing gauge in the middle of the ruler. Why can't this industry agree to use one size fastener for everything? Okay, that's not realistic. Two different size fasteners for everything. Uh, 632 and M3. Well, no, that's going to piss off the Europeans. Uh, how about just, um, okay, M3 and M4. And what exactly describing me? Well, if you look underneath, it's, it's just a sharp point. And they're spring-loaded. They go up and down. There's three of them. And they're so spaced to match the spacing. These are apart. This is the stage that is excruciatingly slow. We can go order pizza and pick it up. Go to the liquor store to get more beer. Check your email. Play a computer game. But this is the probably the coolest feature of the ruler is that each one of these increments is scribed into the surface. Many rulers out there don't do that. It's printed on, it's silk screen, it's laser. No, these are actually engraved so you can feel them and see them. And this is probably my favorite part of the ruler, although it takes forever. First side is done. Now flipping them over to the back side with the decimal, the fraction, conversion charts, and the descriptions of all the threaded holes. One whack, you One won't whack. miss it? I, I won't miss it. <laughs> Ready? That didn't do much, did it? But no, it certainly yeah, took you, care you, of my... Yeah, you, what? <laughs> Good grief. Don't let uh, the missus see that. Yeah. Butterfly. Oh, no. Or not... Uh, it flew over hit. No, I think it just it just came off. It yeah, didn't it break. Did, yeah. Okay. It goes on there, the little <laughs> little LED light. Yeah. Okay. You got to hit. Oh, Ooh, wait. Oh, just don't let her see it and she won't know. That's right. Maybe it's just like that. Okay. <laughs> that did it. That did it. <laughs>
Yep, there was shrapnel flying around. It took three whacks. So here's the first of the rulers we made today. It took us two and a half hours to make 15 rulers, which is an improvement because it used to take 45 minutes per ruler. That's all it is, it's just a ruler, right? Yeah, right, it's just a ruler, right, Randy? That's it's just it. a ruler. Well, as far as we know, nobody else makes a ruler anything like these. And if you go to the website, they're sold out. Be patient, we'll be making some again soon. We always do. So thanks for supporting MMPC Tech, made in the USA. Have a good weekend, everybody.